game we have been waiting for. And now we have the rematch of the Jets and the Patriots and brother. This is another edition of GNC Sports Talk. I'm Julian Gillardi. I'm Bobby Thompson. I want to shake your hands and wish you the best of luck on Monday. I wish you the best of luck on Monday as well. You know, we've been waiting for this. The, the first time we played, obviously. I don't count that one. You, hey, listen, in New England, we count a win as a win. We won 30 to 14, and that's and also. That was actually nice. With Luke, Luke Falk, I'll tell you this. The one thing I did see is that the defense, Jamal Adams, of course, he had a pick six that yeah. game. Uh, Gunner Orshevsky, whatever the hell his name is, our punt returner, muffed yeah. it, and you guys scored a touchdown. It was the first touchdown we let up all year. <laughs> uh, I, st- I still I – mean, but you know what? I give credit where credit's due. You guys hung in there as best as you could with yeah. a backup quarterback. The one pro- – I'm going to tell you this. I thought Le'Veon Bell would have a bigger role. He was taken out of the game. The offensive line for you guys, I think we could agree – and speaking of the offensive line, Osemble. has been a troll. Can you, uh, we heard about something today. You want to explain what's going on? Yeah, Kalecha Osemwe in the Jets. And this is such a Jets thing, it hurts, honestly. So what's going on is that I heard Osemwe was going to get shoulder surgery yesterday because it's really messed up. I'm like, okay, It's cool. really bad, Everything, yeah. All right, makes sense. Unfortunately, we're going to miss him for the season. But now there's a twist. Because the team doctors are saying they won't authorize the surgery or something, or they're not going to do it if he wants it. Like, I don't know what's going on with that. That's well, the latest I've heard. Well, the thing is, too, when a player knows he needs surgery, he wants to keep playing, he knows it needs to be operated on, he goes to see a surgeon who knows what they're doing to repair it, and the team says no, that's a recipe for disaster. I don't understand. And I'm pretty... and. I'm just going to say this. I don't get it at all. I think that you're going to see a dispute between the two teams. and but Excuse me. I'm sorry. Two between, parties. Yeah, both parties. Um, I don't understand why the Jets team doctors and team all together wouldn't just authorize it. Uh, yeah. You traded for this guy. You had a lot of hopes for this guy. And now, you know, I th- they read about this. He's been injured. But you guys like, what's the kid who took over? What Alex Lewis. He's been, he's been playing much better. So, basically... If you guys like him better than Osemo, why wouldn't you just approve the surgery? Maybe he could come back. Well, unless it's a labrum. If it's a labrum or he's done for the year. You but. know, I'm very I'm very uh, confused why they wouldn't approve it unless they think he could rehab it on his own somehow. That's the only explanation I can give you to why they wouldn't want him to do the surgery. But his season's lost regardless, it most likely. How many games has he played? He ended up playing, I want to say, three or four. Actually, only three because I don't even think he played the Eagles. I'll tell you this. So um, it was. Just, it's unfortunate. Uh, it, it's. It's. A, I would say it's a big loss, but it for depth reasons it is. But for you guys, other than that, your offensive line's been shaky. But your offensive line was not shaky last week. Finally, I'm going to tell you this real quick. I want to give you my scouting report on you guys. Go ahead. So one thing I saw is when Sam Darnold gets back into the fold, you guys are a much different team. Oh, yeah. Guys are a lot better, and I noticed something that he did. He made his time being out. I think he really changed changed the way he kind of plays. Sam Darnold, I've seen. You know what? He always used to hold on to the ball, let the play develop. Right. He did not do that against Dallas. He got the ball out extremely quick. There was some great time. Yep. Routes. The one thing I don't uh, against Dallas. The one thing is they didn't really involve Bell in the passing game. No, they did. That, that's one thing I think against. The, um, this week the you're team. going to look to do because they're going to st- – I'm going to tell you this. The number one ranked defense, my defense, yep, you're ranked first. is going to – I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This isn't a prediction. This is a spoiler for you guys. Oh, shit. WWE fans, that's a shout-out to Paul Heyman. <laughs> so here is the spoiler. We're going to stack that box. We will not let Le'Veon Bell run all over the place because we know he's due for a big game, and that won't happen against us. So we're putting the the only way for you guys to beat us is by one way, put the ball in Sam Donald's hands. That's what we're gonna do. I think our defensive coordinator. Well, we don't have a D coordinator right now. Gerard matter. Mayo, Stephen Belichick, and Bill Belichick have a game plan to limit Sam Donald. Um, Sam Donald is limited with what he can work with, especially because we don't know what's going on with Herndon. I'll get. I'll let you talk about that in a second. Yeah. I'll get so that. I'll just tell you this. And then after that, I'll go into my uh, about the Patriots injuries, and I'm not happy. You'll hear me go off with that. So um, with this, I think 
the Patriots defense you're gonna expect you're going to see. Here's what you're gonna see, Jules, and I think you know this. We're gonna blitz the hell out of you. Mm-hmm. Um but we're also going to disguise coverages yeah. to confuse Sam. And listen, Sam is a smart kid. He's a smart kid. I think he's better than last year, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, what I saw on Sunday, I'm very impressed with. I give credit where it's due. He played absolutely phenomenal. It was great. The only mistake he made was that interception. And yeah. what did he do after? What, the thing about Sam Darnold, we say it all the time, after he makes a mistake, he will not do it again. Yeah. That's what he does. He learns like this. That I I... I I like that about the kid. I do. Mm-hmm. So with that, I think that New England defense is 150 times better than Dallas's. Of course, you're going to see Sam Donald hit a lot. You're going to see we're going to disguise a lot of things. This secondary is not going to let up the plays that you saw last week. It's going to take a lot. So you're going to have to get creative. Adam Gase is going to have to dive into his uh, book of plays. And we will see what happens. So okay, so I, I like everything you just said. It all makes a lot of sense and. I think one way to beat you guys would, and you hit on this, get the running backs involved in the passing yes. game. I want to see more of time on. I've been saying this for weeks now. He got a little bit more, but only three catches for 17 yards still. He can do better. They can get him more involved. Maybe on one catch for three yards is very surprising. I agree. That was the only thing that... And he wasn't targeted either. That was Adam. the only thing that threw me off about our offensive game plan. Other than that, it was excellent, honestly. Yeah. That was the only thing I was just like, okay, I mean, I guess we're not throwing a bell today, but... You know what? We got it done, but we're on to this weekend. This is the, our hardest game, and I'm really happy that Sam's back. Also, big news, CJ Mosley is expected to play, which is great for our defense. We saw how good oh. he looked in those three quarters. I know it was only three quarters of football, but he was dominant. He was doing everything. He had a sack. He had that pick six. He was all over the place, and the Jets had given up, I think, zero points. And then as soon as he leaves, everything goes to shit, and they lose the game. I think having him back is a huge plus. And I'm, I'm so excited. I'm very, very disappointed he's playing. <laughs> uh, he's going to be a Come on, man. you got to have a little challenge. I, yeah, no, I get it. I just You're don't not want getting Hearns on at least, unfortunately. No, no. Hearns not playing. No, no, no. Yeah, he, he's not going to play. He hasn't no. practiced still. They tried to get him back going, but it's, it just hasn't happened, so unfortunately. The one thing is having Mosley back, and he's the signal caller on the defense, it's going to be a lot better defense. We oh, won't yeah, see that. Saying. So, listen, C.J. Mosley, I give credit where it's due. As I just said, he's a tremendous linebacker. He's very, very smart. Um, I he's think, our quarterback on defense. Yeah. The one thing with him is he's very athletic. Mm-hmm. But if you get him in space with – He let me, struggle let with pass t- Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. The Patriots have the running backs to make him, to, to make him look silly. Mm-hmm. And you know they're going to do that. Uh, he knows they're going to mm-hmm. do that. And the thing is, too, he has, a groin, for he has a groin injury. So what do you think? They're going to put James White out there trying to pass. Oh, God. And he's going to try to have to cut and all that. Oh, so maybe God. that groin, trust me, he, he's thinking about that. Oh, God. But here's the thing. I'm going to say this right now. If you guys come out and our offensive line, which has been shaky all year, especially the blind side because Marshall Newhouse is garbage, <laughs> I'm going to be – Pissed off. Quinn Williams, this is a big spot for him. Up the, I'm going to say this. You know what? We don't have Dave, David Andrews all year because of blood clots in his throat. Hasn't played. He's out for the year. Um, Ted Karras, and I think you could agree with me, Jules, he's played tremendous since he's been in there. He plays. He has really stepped up to the challenge. Patriots offense really has struggled in the first half of games. Second half of games is where they really go off. You know, I have noticed that. You sometimes so, you start slow. Even against the Redskins, you start yeah. slow. So the one thing bit. one thing I will tell you this, we're limited with what we could work with this week. Uh, Josh Gordon, unfortunately, will probably not play. He's dealing with that's multiple good. injuries. That's for us. So that's a big loss for us. We're disappointed, but we will get back Philip Dorsett. Uh, I expect a lot of quick pet. Here's the thing. We don't have that deep threat. We do have... Well, we could agree that uh, Philip Dorsett is a, is a burner. He's fast. Yeah. I think you're going to see Edelman. You're, uh, they're going to try to double Edelman, of course. I so, hope so. I expect this. <laughs> know who's going to have a big game for this week? Who? It's Ben Watson season. Welcome back. You know, we ben, do struggle with tight ends. Ben Watson for the, is back. He you know there he came off suspension. We did not activate him. He released because the Patriots' tight end position is garbage since we lost Gronk. We get him back. And 
Ben Watson was our tight end for years. I'm happy to have him back, and I can't wait to see it. I know he's 38 years old. He's still got a lot left in the tank. And I think Brady and him have that report that they always worked with. You know, when I'll give you an example. When um, Remember when we got Deion Branch back? Yeah. And Brady and him were just like this? Of course. I think you're going to see that with Ben Watson and him. They okay. just, the both of them just, they're very close. So with that, I'm going to give you my prediction right now. I, what I want to. Yeah, go ahead. So, I want that 7-0, and baby. And we're coming into MetLife hostile territory. I'm hoping my my patriot, my soldiers of Patriot Nation are here and ready to take over MetLife just like Dallas did last week because that stadium was 50-50. Oh my God! So if you think that if the, if you think that was bad, wait till you see this week. You so, guys ain't gonna do. Too listen, much. you guys ain't flocking our stadium. Get yeah. that shit out of here, boy. Get that. Out of, I mean, you're cool, obviously, but everyone else they can they can take. All on. I'm gonna say is, Patriots fans will listen to this. <laughs> I'll be there. Let's all come together as one for a tailgate in parking lots. Okay. I mean, so, yeah, I'm down the tailgate. I'll mix it up there, but. In terms of the game, Jet fans, get your asses in there. Don't let these guys in. Except Bobby can come in. <laughs> so, all right, so here's what I expect. I think in the first half, I think the Jets will move the ball a little bit. I think you guys are going to surprise us. Um, I think we're going to hold our own in the touchdown department. I think we're going to really make you earn everything. Okay. Um, I'm just going to give you my prediction. I don't think Robbie Anderson's going to have a big game like he did last week. He's blanketed by the best corner in football. Yeah, that's a tough matchup. Stephon Gilmore. So, Here's the way. You want to win this game, you got to get the ball to Jameson Crowder, in my opinion, and really work Jonathan Jones, Jason McCourty, and all the others. Um, I think the Patriots know this. I think they're going to be prepared. They're the best, most prepared, best prepared team in the league. Um, I can't disagree with that. I think I, th- I will say this. Patriots offense will struggle a little bit. I'm going to tell you this. I think this week is a huge Huge James White game. I really do. You know what? He's and, a thorn in and, Edelman, and Edelman is a jack killer. He always has been. So I'm going to go with this. I think the Patriots are going to ride high. I think the defense will get. I'm going to go with four sacks. Okay. Keep it going. Watch out for Chase Winovich, the rookie. <laughs> He's been on fire. <clears throat> I think the Patriots will get at least two turnovers. Brady is going to bounce back. He's going to throw at least. He didn't have a touchdown pass. He rushed for two touchdowns last week. So... I think you're going to see him get maybe 300 yards, maybe two TDs. I expect Ben Watson to get in the end zone. I'm going to go with the Patriots 31. I'm going to give the Jets 17. Okay, I'm going to say, here we go. So I'm going to lay everything out. I'm going to add some stuff. I'll make my prediction, and we'll be on our way. So the Jets team line made some good points. I just got some news that Henry Anderson may be nearing a return, which helps us. I also want to say Phillips and Fashion... Kasi, or however you say his name, that played outstanding football for the Jets. These guys have been great additions to that D-line, and Leonard Williams still a no-show, of course. I would like to see more from him, but I will not be surprised if he gets traded. So if Henry Anderson's able to play, Phillips, Fanashu, and then Quinn Williams, get that, get it going. I think we can cause some problems. Offense, you made some great points. Robbie, I'm nervous about. I'm not going to lie. It's a tough matchup. Can he get past Gilmore? Maybe, but it's easier said than done. Crowder, I agree with you. He's going to have to be that guy if the Jets win this football game. Get Bell involved in the passing game. And you know what? J-E-T-S, baby. You're going to get your first loss of the season. Really? And it's going to be 24-23. Let's go with another You're, you're going to kick a game-winning free goal, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to kick a game-winning field goal. Before, and- before we get going, I will say this. Mike Nugent and Jake Bailey, if you guys fucking can't get it together and put the laces out to kick field goals, I'm going to lose my shit. I'm tired of this missing extra points, leaving points off off the board. Every point is valuable. I'm I'm getting sick of this crap that we have to go for it on fourth and two. This when it's when we're on the 26 yard line. This is chip shots. Come on, get it together, Mike Nugent. You were used to be a Jet, right? Okay. Stick it to your old team. Jake Bailey, hold the laces out, okay? That's all I'm going to say. You know, Ficken's been all right so far. I've been pretty happy with what I've seen, so hopefully we can keep it going. And for this game, it's just going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. Oh, it's going to be a great game. It's Jets-Patriots. You know how it goes. I just think Darnold's – I agree that they're going to ask Darnold to win the game, but he showed us he was capable last week, and I think he's going to make some more plays. I think it's going to be tough sledding for Bell. 
because I know how you guys key on him and you're going to take him out and all that stuff. Oh, it's irritating, but it's going to be an exciting game. I just wanted to say spread was nine and a half. I never got to that. Over under is around forty three and a half. I would I would play the over on that. And obviously he has Pats covering. I have Jets covering. Defense is ranked twenty second, twenty first. Offense is still ranked thirty first. So we got a long way to go offensively still. But at least last week was a start. Yep, and you're going up against the eighth eighth ranked offense and the number one ranked defense. So it's it's going to be it's going to be a good one at MetLife. I, I like I said, if you guys are there, you know. Whoever's going to this game, because I expect a lot of people at this game, yeah. I'm expecting a sellout. It's going to sell out. I think so. so we're going on the field before the game. Yes, we, yep, right? we're going on the field before the game. So <laughs> get a live GNT from the field. You're damn right we are. I'm excited. I've been looking forward to this since we, since the schedule came out. We There was no way in hell we were not going to this game. Yeah. So... Let's get it going. And yeah, black bell gets me black out. And uh, this is a new Brady jersey. I got fresh stitch. Never had this before. So let's get it going, baby. Pats uh, Nation. Let's right, go. Shut up, baby. Defend our house on Monday night. We taking over, baby. For GNT, I'm Julian Gillardi. I'm Bobby Thompson. We'll see everyone soon. Go back.